222 day, we will be talking about Render and its parent company, Otoy's relationship and integration into what NVIDIA is doing. Because Jules Erbach will be speaking at the upcoming conference that has created a lot of hype for Render price action. Here's a quote from Jules Erbach. NVIDIA loves what we're doing and wants to help us. And here is a bit more of an explanation on that partnership. Specifically to the relationship with NVIDIA, I mean, I, I want to point out that before we did the render, the decentralized render network, um, the person that announced our, our centralized version of render was Jensen. I was on stage with him at GTC uh -huh. in 2013, and you know he's like, you know, Otoy's building the Octane Render Cloud work, right? Um, and he loves what we do, and we have a great relationship with NVIDIA. I'm, just, I'm giving you an hour-long talk in a couple of months, my 15th, you know, in a row after 15 years of doing this. So we 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 talk to NVIDIA every single week, you know, and they're very aware of what Render is doing, and uh, it's it's something where I think you know we're looking at it from two, two points. Yes, you want to have nodes that have each 100s, and then for just in case you want to do that kind of high-end training. But it's also really interesting to sort of share with NVIDIA, like how do you do more work on less you know, GPU compute power? They're working on it. Apple's working on it. You know that's why it's. I think you know the you know the direction is towards. I think what we are already the infrastructure we already have on render, and also it's really important for us to know where Nvidia is going with their hardware. We've been you know just like with other partners. You know we know the roadmap to some degree, being close partners for years, and um, and here's a chart that is comparing Nvidia and render performance in terms of percentages, and even though it hasn't traveled the exact same path, each of them ha have experienced over a 330% return since about the beginning of 2023. The world is not ready for what Jules and Jensen have planned for GTC 2024. Here is the GTC 2024 site, and here is the topic Jules, who is the CEO of Otoy, will be talking about, which is the future of rendering involving real-time ray tracing, which I have found is just a advanced processing process that allows things to look more naturally lit, AI, holographic displays, and blockchain. And it's all about how GPU and AI driven rendering and how it will impact pretty much everything that has a screen at this point. I do hear on X from people who aren't involved with render that NVIDIA wouldn't ever use render because it would compete against them, which is pretty obviously not true. They're not competing, but they are supporting each other. For example, render networks connector to the Omniverse, which is NVIDIA's platform for simulation and training AI, can provide NVIDIA with on-chain validation of all work performed on their platform. So NVIDIA has a lot of the hardware and Otoy and Render are helping them expand it to an even larger and constantly growing audience that has an extreme demand for GPU computing power because of AI. And here is a clip explaining how decentralized GPU computing is the only way to solve the GPU problem for AR, VR headsets, AI, and spatial computing. And um, with regard to Omniverse, and you mentioned the sim simulation engine and the emphasis on photorealism, because that is something that, uh, you know, commercial VR headsets, at least that are ac accessible to consumers, have had a hard time with. So when we're talking about people using this commercially, then, are they using higher end headsets or are they just working off of monitors or what? what is the practice there? Yeah, so I think the um, so driving photoreal graphics is really a rendering problem, and um, you know, with all due respect to, uh, to to Qualcomm and others, as I said before, you just don't have enough compute on your head in a wireless headset 
to drive photoreal graphics, that you can't render fast enough. And so, you know, that's something that needs a big GPU, could be local, could be in the cloud, it doesn't matter. Um, what, what inspires me about um, the headsets is they have phenomenal displays, they have a brilliant array of sensors that are being built in, uh, in order to sense everything from, you know, body pose, biometrics, all of it. Uh, but the rendering problem and, and the AI problem solving, you know, doing large language model uh, um, inference, you're, you're just not going to be able to do that in a small power envelope, right? And so, you know, photo real uh, to me means um, bigger compute and, and so does big AI. And on that big AI note, what did every big company invest in during 2023? Well, that was GPUs for AI. And what does Render do? It provides the world's largest decentralized GPU network with over 1 million idle GPUs ready to power AI. Betting against Render is betting against AI. And it's not just NVIDIA who has deep ties and c connections into Otoy and Render. You also have a ton of integration with Apple, as well as Google and Microsoft. And Otoy's advisory board has ties into the Department of Defense and IBM. It's also got ties into Amazon because Jules and Jensen who is the founder and CEO of NVIDIA, helped design AWS Cloud. So it's so deeply connected into all of these large companies who are driving a lot of the expansion of AI right now. And Render is completely prepared to help provide all of that GPU computation power in a much more cost-effective way.